Welcome back to the channel. This is part 8 in our series on Flask to AWS. In this video, we're going to set up the Route 53 domain name. We'll set up the SSL certificate in a later video. Before we get started, you can help me out a lot by doing a few simple things. Sponsor me on either Patreon or GitHub sponsors, subscribing to the channel, liking this video, and sharing on platforms you use like Reddit, Discord, etc. Starting the repo on GitHub, and also follow me on GitHub. All these things help me out a lot, and I really appreciate it. So let's get started. We're on the management console, let's go to the top, and search for Route 53. We're going to go to Register Domains on the left, and click Register Domain. Type in the domain name you want. I already have this one created, so I'll just do two to check. See it's available, we're going to add to cart, continue. Fill in your who is information, click continue. I've read and agreed, and then complete order. I've already created mine, so I'm not going to do this. You would click create order here. Once you have your domain name showing up here in register domains, you can click into it, and then click on manage DNS. Now you can scroll down. We're going to click create record. Now we get to pick our actual domain name for our web application. I'm just going to do AWS ECS demo. You can pick whatever you want here. And we're going to route it to an alias. We're not routing it directly to the EC2 instance because in front of the EC2 instance, we have an application load balancer. So we're going to do alias, choose our endpoint. Application load balancer, region, whatever region you're in. I'm in US East 1. Load balancer, pick your load balancer. Great, ready to go. Create records. And it says successfully created. View the status. We scroll down and we see it's right here. AWS ECS demo, it's an A record, and it's pointing to the load balancer, where the A record is just a routing record. I mean, if you type this into the URL bar of your web browser, it will evaluate to this load balancer right here. And we can actually test this right now. Let's go to the web browser, copy this right here, paste it in the URL bar, click enter, and we see hello world. Great, we know our application is running, and we know that we have a domain name attached to it as well. That's it for this video. In the next video, we're going to set up the SSL certificate for our domain so we can access through HTTPS securely. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below and I'll respond as quickly as I can. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.